Well, it was finally a good day to not see any rain. We're starting to dry up everything outside, and actually temperatures are still below average, and they're going to stay below average. We got to 88 for our high today. We're well above our normal for our rain this time of year as well, so a big plus to go along with that, but I know we're going to enjoy the next couple of days. We're seeing right now clear skies, which is going to help us cool off nicely. Still sitting in those upper 80s here in town and throughout the Contra Valley. We saw one or two got to the 90s, like Ballinger, Coleman. We're seeing down towards Junction also at 90 and some upper 80s. So warm throughout, but one thing that we haven't had to worry about, along with the rain chances, is high humidity. A little bit more on the lower side. We could see it. It is going to be getting up in the morning. It's going to be a little bit more muggy, but then go back down throughout the rest of the day. So it is just going to be a quiet weather pattern for the next couple of days. Because of the clear skies, we're going to be seeing more of upper 60s as opposed to low 70s for tonight. A little bit of a breeze coming in from the east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. But as we go into tomorrow, we're going to see more low 90s coming through. Plenty of sunshine, but with a light breeze, it could get, feel a little bit warmer out there. Maybe 1 or 2 degrees, but not anything bad because normally our normal is 97. We're also used to seeing more of getting closer to the records with triple digits. So I think we're okay with seeing some of those 90s of feeling a few degrees above that. That is because we're still in this area of getting in that gulf moisture coming into our into the Contra Valley into the state you kind of see this dry line we're not as humid that it's going to be for the next couple of days but going into Saturday and Sunday we of course are going to be watching this low pressure and cold front now it's decided that it is going to be moving pretty slow you can even see Saturday Sunday we're still set up in the same pattern of having low pressure out towards the Great Lakes, high pressure out towards the west, getting them some triple digits is what they're going to be seeing. And we're stuck in the middle, which isn't too bad because we're going to see below average, so low 90s for our temperatures, a little bit of some of that moisture coming in off the Gulf winds coming in from the south, a little bit from the southeast. As we watch, a little bit of uplift is going to be coming through in the upper atmosphere, which will allow some isolated showers coming in on Sunday night and into Monday. A lot of it is going to be staying along I-20, could get some into the northern parts of the Concho Valley, but right now most of us are going to be staying dry and not seeing those showers push through. And then that low pressure decides instead of pushing further south, it decides to start moving east and we don't even get a cool down. So our temperatures are going to be staying pretty consistent. We're going to be seeing low 90s, overnight lows in the low 70s, and some clouds coming and going throughout the next couple of days. So tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday, plenty of sunshine, 90s, 91. Warmest day right now, looking to be 92. We're starting to see along that dry line some clouds forming. Then on Sunday and into Monday, we're watching those showers moving further south as well. So not going to be everybody seeing them, but seeing some at least for a few in the northern parts of the Concho Valley and seeing more of a humid start probably on Monday morning because there's still plenty of moisture in our atmosphere to give us some clouds, but no cool down with those temperatures, staying at 91, 92, 90s, no big change, but no big push of hot temperature either. So I think we're okay with that. And after we dry out for this week, maybe having a little bit of that rain come back on Sunday wouldn't be too bad, but we're looking for a nice week with warm temperatures, plenty of sunshine, very slight humidity, and seeing even to the weekend, low 90s, that temperatures are going to be staying the same. What we're watching for is the rain chances on Sunday and Monday. The following